Hi, so for the next um, small workshop, I'm going to try to make this uh, this uh, spinning wheel here. I think you all know this kind of game. You have like a, a spinning wheel and turns around and shows you a letter and you have to answer a question. Uh, give the name of a musical instrument starting with the letter P. So for a, a school project, we're looking for this kind of a spinning wheel. In Dutch, the game is called Pim Pam Pet. I kind of like the Dutch name much more. It's much more fun. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make this in, in a, I already made this spinning wheel and the shapes so I won't spend spend too much time on that but I would like to have the letters showing up and I would also like to print them so this is also going to be an experiment with a dual head printer so the plan is that I print the letters with another color inside of the spinning wheel um, actually I don't have the printer yet so it's only going to be a proof of concept but I'm gonna try it so first things first um, let's go to FreeCAD so in FreeCAD for now I ha have my my bottom plate and I have 26 squares where I'm gonna originally I was going to stick in a print sticker just with ABC letters of the alphabet so this is how I'm going to do it for now and I have on top of it a spinning wheel with an opening as you see so the opening you, you can look through it and it's open it shows just one letter so it's a really simple concept um, if there's enough question I could I, I could uh, do a walkthrough on how I made this one but I don't think it's that interesting anyway um, what I want to do is uh, replace those so uh, I'm gonna hide this one Re replace those small squares with letters I haven't found an, an easy way to put uh, text along a path or text on a circle in um, FreeCAD so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Inkscape to, uh, to, trick, to do this trick so in Inkscape I'm gonna just type my alphabet H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z double check so I don't have any typos A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q now for this I'm just going to take a thick uh, a font that's uh, monospaced so uh, I actually liberation mono okay just great I'll make it a little bigger just for the fun of it I'm gonna add some space to it just to start off somewhere I'm gonna zoom out and draw a circle that's not much of a circle okay now we can see it just give it a color for now I'm gonna text select the circle text along path put text on path and now I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I'm not, it's not gonna be perfect but I'm gonna increase this number to something that uh, looks quite okay okay and now I'm gonna hide this one and I have my circle now okay just document settings I prefer to have my page set to the content uh, I don't really need this page, page border in Eden so okay this is what I want but I'll just put it bold I preferred bold text mm -hmm. so this is my output I want to, to, to take this uh, into a uh, free cat first things first I'll just turn it into a path now just for the sake of it gonna get rid of that circle um, so now now I have a group of 26 um, items I can't change the text anymore but um, I'm gonna ungroup them well actually this wasn't needed because um, FreeCut is going to break them uh, up in pieces anyway okay so I'm now going to save it as header wheel Sorry, as you see I already tried it 
and I'm going to use the plain SVG just because it's it, does, it doesn't contain all the clutter. Okay, I replace this one. This is why what I needed Inkscape for. Now I'm going to file import. Oh, let me get it on my desktop. Now where did I save it? I don't know. And I'm going to save it as a geometry. What is, what is this going to do? Um, this one. So it took in all the paths, and every path is a curve, as you see. But let's. As you see, the A isn't just one curve, it are it's two curves. So we'll have to do some magic afterwards. But for now, what are we, what are we going to do? Just gonna select them all. Okay, let's do we have them all now, yes. And I'm gonna go to the part view. I'm gonna give them some depth. I'm going to extrude them in the z-axis, length of 1, just great. But very important, they have to be solid. Okay. And previously I had some issues with some letters, and here I have it again. Let's see. I'm going to put this away. You see here quite a few letters now even. The M, the N, they don't come out solid. Don't ask me why. I just asked this question on the forum for FreeCAD. Um, I'm pretty sure the community will help me out here and uh, I'll uh, put uh, a link in the show notes on where I asked the question so if you have the answer or if you can help other people or if maybe you want to find the answer there uh, and just for the fun of it let's have a look maybe the community already answered Org. Okay. No, yeah, as you see, I just uh, asked the question twenty minutes ago, and it's a Sunday, so I didn't have any answers yet. But usually, you get answers qu quite quickly. I'm pretty sure by tonight there will be an answer. Okay, but now back to the topic. What are we going to do? I'm gonna sh just show this for the A. So I'm gonna take these two, and I'm gonna make the difference. And now I have letter A. Same thing for the B. First, I'm gonna join these two because they're actually. Yep. The difference. Oops, done troubles here. Troubles in paradise. Fusion didn't work out just well. So uh, sometimes. Oops. So there's uh, there are some issues. So first take the big one, then take the small one. Or is the other way around? First take the big one, then take the small one, cut it out. Nope, didn't work this time. So I guess there's an issue with the, uh, as you, you see this one isn't solid either. Because it's not solid, it can't cut it out. So this one is, is not going to work. Uh, and at the end of the line, this was the great font to do this. I don't know what the reason is. So on a previous uh, effort, I uh, had just a, a few bad letters. So I'm going to continue on this one. So what I did then, just to show this, because currently they're not uh, Go 
visible for now. We just selected, selected them all. Uh, visualize this one and I moved them. So I changed it. This is something very handy. You, you can really move all these items at once. Top view. Okay, so I made my in my, my, my letters my letters uh, my letter circle a bit too big too. Um, I'm not sure if you can scale this down. Uh, anyway, I just tried it a few times in, in Inkscape until I had the, the right size and an acceptable acceptable uh, acceptable range. So let's go back. So I moved them and I just re renamed them. So if I type F two. I can name this whatever I want, so everything is such a, such, such an extrusion uh, with just a path inside. Um, if I put it on plate now, now what, what I'll have to do, what I'll, I'm going to do is I'm gonna select them all, going to the uh, part, and I'm going to just say this is just one part, so I'm gonna make this compound, and I'm gonna call it alphabet. For the sake of ease, I'm just going to take out the bad ones because they always give troubles. Once this issue is fixed, okay, and the paths are, are here again, so it's not something we, we, we actually lost. Don't tell me uh, it crashed. So this is one of the disadvantages of, of FreeCAD. If you get uh, when if you get messy, it crashes. Uh, My desktop is where I put the one I was playing with. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the ones that are bad before I make a compound maybe. Okay. Two uh, okay this won't work because I'm not in the oops, what happened here? Work bench. Not okay. <laughs> Compound. Uh, rename alphabet, and now you also uh, learned why it's Im imperative to regularly press the Control S Save button. Just as a habit, save your file every three, four handles, and uh, you won't lose all that much. So now I have. Um, these letters, but they they stick out a little bit, so I don't want them to stick out. just maybe even just stick out a little bit I don't care that much about a tiny bit of sticking out uh, I think two and a half would be just great if I want to have them equal equal but um, I'll have it stick out so for now um, now I'm gonna take a copy or maybe just even a clone a 
clone uh, how to no clones are in the draft section I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna come on I'm gonna clone it and now you have a clone of the alphabet and the alphabet itself and I'm gonna use this one just in the part view to to cut it out of the plate and I made a mistake because first take the big one then take the small one I have them in the, in the wrong direction so I will have I will cut my plate out of my alphabet and I will have a thin slice of letters that's not what I want and my computer is calculating is saying it's a messy thing so please uh, it like this for squid just gonna reopen it that's a good thing I saved I'll take the big one, take the small one, part view difference. Oh, there he goes. So if I hide the clone now. This cut doesn't look very active. It doesn't didn't do it. Why not? I'm gonna increase your opacity. Okay, here's the reason because it wasn't inside I'm going to move the alphabet down Big one, small one, difference. I think you should too. Anyway, our pro uh, here, you look here, we have it now. We have our spinning wheel with the letters and our clone. Why do we need our clone? Because here, our clone, we will give this one a color, for example, red, because we're going to use red ink. And this is what the result will look like when it's printed. So now we have our two pieces, it took much too long, 
so the upper and the down bottom piece and these two pieces will, will have to be printed but stl files if you if you export to stl you only have one color so we, we can't um, export this together so we're going to save this as two separate items so i'm going to export this one yes. the bottom inlay just just give it a name and i'm going to mesh formats.stl and now I'm going to take this one I'm going to export it I'll drop it okay now we're going to load Cura. Now in Cura, obviously, you'll have to change your machine settings if you have two printer, uh, two extruders. Set this to two. Uh, eventually, cha change the settings of your second extruder. So what is the offset? This is quite important, of course, if you want him to print correctly. And now we're going to load the files. Uh, so load model file, desktop, bottom inlay, and oops, file load. Uh, nope, 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 nope. File load model file, bottom alphabet. Now it shows them separately. Right click on it. And now if you say dual extrusion merge, he puzzle them together so now he sees you have two inks the red one and the yellow one and he's going to print it like this now you, you, you can just send it you can save the g code or you can save the model as a amf mesh file amf so bottom dot amf amf is a, a new uh, 3d printing format that actually uh, has some advanced features including um, multiple colors or multiple extruders in this case and now you, you could print this on your 3d printer of course you're, you're lacking some letters here so i'm not going to print this um, and it's just an approach uh, you see the, so the trick was don't forget to uh, change your machine settings and right click and put them together uh, as dual extrusion and then everything will work as you wanted it to so uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, small tutorial again